Eric Ten Hag makes bizarre claim over what he thinks is to blame for Manchester United's struggles. Eric Ten Hag has bizarrely claimed that financial fair play is to blame for Manchester United's struggles, despite spending just under £200 million this season. After an impressive first season at Old Trafford, many thought the only way was up for United in 2023-24, but that has not proven to be the case. The Red Devils are currently sixth in the table, eight points off the top four, though they can close the gap to Aston Villa and Tottenham with victory over Luton Town on Sunday. Moreover, the FA Cup is the only trophy they can win after they were knocked out of the Carabao Cup in the Champions League, exiting the latter in embarrassing fashion at the group stage. The players, the manager and ownership have all taken their fair share of criticism but Ten Hag strangely believes FFP is at fault, even though a recent UEFA study revealed that United had the most expensive squad in world football last season. When we were in the summer, I think we had very good momentum. We had finished third, we won one final, and were in another final, the Dutchman said ahead of the Luton clash. Then we chose to bring in young players for the future, and that had to do with FFP. That was the choice we made, but you then know it will take longer before you can come into the competition for the top positions in the Premier League or Champions League. Ten Hag's point doesn't exactly ring true as last summer he spent a whopping £188 million on seven new players with an average age of 26. Additionally, almost all of this money was focused on just three players, Rasmus Hodgland, £72 million, Mason Mount, £55 million, and Andre Onana, £43 million. Only Hodgland can be considered young and inexperienced, and even so his transfer fee makes him one of the most expensive players in the club's history, and ultimately United chose to sign him rather than a more experienced striker. Harry Kane was their top target, but the England captain ended up joining Bayern Munich for just £30 million more. Ten Hag does have faith however that United's academy can continue to produce great talents that would negate the need to spend big in the future, having been impressed by the impact of Alejandro Garnacho and Kabi Mainu. Man United will always be a buying club, but I think history proves it always gives opportunities from the academy through to the first team if a player deserves it, the manager added. It's in the DNA. In my opinion, there were players who had the potential. We have given them the time to develop and progress. We have been mentoring them in their way through because we saw their potential was higher than the current squad in that moment and in those positions. You see when you give them the opportunity, they progress so quickly and bring the team to higher levels in the long term. Eden Hazard reveals why he snubbed Manchester United to sign for not that good Chelsea. Eden Hazard has revealed why he signed for Chelsea despite initially having no interest in the club. The Belgium legend is one of Chelsea's all-time greatest players, having scored 110 goals and made 92 assists in 352 games across a very successful seven-year spell. His trophy haul for the Blues includes two Premier League titles, two Europa Leagues and the FA Cup. It could have all been so different however had the now-retired forward opted not to move to Stamford Bridge in 2012 in a deal worth £32 million, something that very nearly did happen. Hazard had the world at his feet at the time after several remarkable seasons with Lille and had his heart set on a move to the Premier League, but as it turns out Chelsea were not on his radar at first. Speaking on the OB1 podcast, the 33-year-old said, I had a chat with Sir Alex Ferguson, then Manchester United boss. I spoke with Harry Redknapp, at that time he was the manager in Tottenham. I went to Manchester to see the Man City training ground. So I had a few options, but not Chelsea because the last year in Lille, Chelsea in the league was not that good. You know when you, John Obi Mikel, won the Champions League, in the league you were like 6th or 7th, I don't remember. I knew I was leaving France to go to the Premier League but not Chelsea, because I wanted to play in the Champions League, you know? So that move came because you won the Champions League. Chelsea were indeed in awful form domestically in the 2011-12 season, finishing 6th in the Premier League, but remarkably they won their first UCL by beating Bayern Munich on penalties in the final. Mikel asked Hazard if he would not have signed for Chelsea if they didn't win the Champions League, to which he replied, Ah oh my friend, Chelsea was like far away. That's why I say thank you to, Didier, Drogba. Just a few days after the legendary striker scored the winning penalty against Bayern, Hazard announced he would be moving to West London, tweeting, I'm signing for the Champions League winner.
Sir Jim Ratcliffe wants new look Old Trafford with 90,000 capacity in the next five years. Within the next five years, Sir Jim Ratcliffe intends to supervise a redevelopment of Old Trafford that will increase the stadium's capacity to 90,000. According to Mail Sport, Ineos has already contacted potential investors about plans to renovate or replace United Stadium before Ratcliffe's 25% ownership of the team is officially confirmed. It's already reported that a move from Old Trafford has been abandoned. The plan is to build at New Stretford End, which would surpass the 17,500 seat cop that Tottenham built. A five star hotel and United themed attractions are also being discussed in advance of a major redevelopment. It is believed that the makeover would turn Old Trafford into the Wembley of the North, with a renovation potentially costing over £2 billion. The construction might begin within five years, extending from Old Trafford and connecting the neighborhood with Media City. There are reportedly already discussions with local lawmakers with the hopes of involving the government. It is doubtful that there will be a simple cash payout because other publicly funded stadiums have multiple functions or are included in bids for big sporting events. Ratcliffe and Ineos have previously held discussions about the ideas for a renovated Old Trafford with representatives from Trafford Council and Greater Manchester Mayor Andy Burnham. A sports, entertainment and community village centered on the renovated stadium is reportedly part of the plan, which would strengthen the local economy and provide employment. Ineos and their plans to turn around the club on and off the pitch have impressed the fans. The Man United supporters are fully behind the new setup at the club and want to see the changes that Ratcliffe have suggested.